And welcome back guys. We're going to be playing some more Starfield and we're going to be doing the addition. I think that's what it says there for a side quest. If it's a short quest, then we'll keep on rolling with short quest. If it's a long quest, then we'll try to manage the time. Anyways, make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. Let's get into playing some more Starfield. cares far more about what you take with you when you leave. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. No end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be Inside's a bad place for tourists these days. Side striker's turf. Only the upstairs. Don't bother my customers. Fine, upstairs. That's gang territory, got it? <laughs> yeah, back in the day, you would never. Ugh. Yeah, you used to be people were afraid of the strikers. We had a name, got it? Now the Disciples got us penned up in this lousy bar. Andrea. Fine, fine, fine. This beautiful establishment. Do you have anything else, or are we done with this? Whatever this is. We were one of the big dogs. We could take what we wanted and no one gave us shit. And Briggs? Total class act. Not a psycho like the Disciples. Now look at us. I mean, the Strikers will rob you blind, and if you back us in a corner, you're gonna bleed. But the Disciples? Psh, total nutjob animals. They torture people for kicks. And the only people that kept them from getting out of control? Us. And now we're all but ruined. So you stroll in here and want to meet with Briggs? The nerve. Maybe you should meet with the business end of my shiv, huh, tourist? No blood in my shop, Andrea. I am this close to tossing the lot of you out on the street. Fine, fine already. You're lucky. Only way you see Briggs is if you, uh, want to join the Ebside Strikers. You know, I'll just do that. Right now. <sighs> this ought to be good. Sure, let's go meet the boss. <clears throat> Strikers look out for one another, right? Ugh. 
Who's this? Someone says they might want to join. A recruit? Been a while. I know, right? Savage says we can't go killing people around here anymore. We shouldn't be doing that anyhow. You want to join us? We're a gang. You understand that, right? Not some daring adventure bullshit you can brag to your friends about. We steal, we mug, we kill if we have to. People that come to us have usually run out of options. So are you really interested? There was a time when we were the only ones that kept those psychos in line. But I'll get to that. Let me tell you about us. What makes the Strikers different is we're family. It's us against every goddamn thing the world can throw at us. If you're in, we'll go through hell and back for you. It's been a little too much of that hell going round. Vogel, not the time. We do everything we can to make sure everyone's got a roof overhead and fish in their belly. I prefer we fleece the marks, not kill them. Better for everyone in the long run. But you do what you gotta do. Not so fast. I gotta get to know you first. What would you bring to the Strikers? Very useful. I like it. Done anything special? Something that might impress us. You realize you're trying to impress a gang, right? Not some sort of hookup? All right, you got powers. Sounds special. I'm not sure what your game is, but if you really want to join, there's a test. You're going up against the Disciples. Everyone in ebside has been chewed up and ground up by Neon. Some people snap, and snap hard. The Disciples are maniacs, pure and simple. The test is to find out who has been arming those nutjobs with military-grade hardware. We're fully in alignment there. Joining a street gang was not something I felt we needed to do today, but so be it. There's a warehouse they use. One of our friends said there's a slate there that has the info we need. Oh, that's my job. I was going to go in and make them pay. You want it? Too bad, Vogel. You go in there, and it's a bloodbath. I want someone that can snatch it from them. Ideally with them never even knowing it happened. Consider this your audition. Try not to get killed, new fish.
Let us stick to business here, and hopefully business has nothing to do with Aurora. There's no shame if you just walk thing. away and go back to your pretty little life. So, stealth was a no-go, but... <laughs> shit. You took all of them out. The Strikers can use that. So, you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a patch for any gear you may need, and a job I got in mind for you. you can trust are family. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. Andrea does what she has to. Respect that. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all... They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So d You are funny. Funny won't keep you alive. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs, signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there, that is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood, but I say make the disciple. Here are three locations. Good, good luck.
What have for the we sake here? of these workers that decided to after drop a while on neon and do a little vandalism. The huh? mm -hmm. There's a steep, steep fine for that. Zero tolerance. Tell you what, you pay the fine now, and I'll let you off with a warning. Maybe. I got orders. You're, you're not getting away. Yeah, I hear that. Fine, fine. Just get out of here. Always worth checking. Never know.
upgrades for rent. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. Like the attitude, but don't give Neon Security any reasons to go after us, okay? Let us be honest. Security has never needed a reason, so why would they start now? We do what needs to be done. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mail-spec ranger gear or anything, but better than the cast-off clothes the strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades, maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. All the strikers owe you big time. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for the strikers to make a comeback. Can I get you something? <laughs> Finally, Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I've been telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. <laughs> you better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons, cash, snag the big guns. <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Briggs ain't the only one thinking round here. Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. The disciples are gonna pay for all they've done. Maybe you'd like to try a bit. Welcome to Newell's. Sure, have a look.
Much better, thanks for asking. I don't exactly know what you said to Dietrich, but he's certainly turned everything around. He's really stepped up and taken an active role in fighting Neon Security's corruption. He's even organizing the merchants' meetings with me. Best of all, I think we've become good friends. Which is a rare thing to come across in this city, I can tell you that. Oh, dear lord. Did Briggs put you up to this? All these gangs are a menace. I don't want to have any part of it. They are definitely the lesser evil. All right, already. All right. You pay and I'll send Briggs his armor. But this is a one-time deal. I don't want anything to do with this madness after that. That's not a discount. You do that. I'm glad you understand. You think that means you're... No discount. Take it or leave it. I'll send the armor to Madame Savages. Have a nice day. His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants? What did he want? He said he wanted to personally thank us for our contributions to the city and hopes for our continued support. Our contribution? smuggler I have ever worked with had a perverse affection. The guns, new fish, went in, pop, 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 and the cash is ours. Yeah, and that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? Hey, same here. Little element of surprise and a few bullets. 
Then no worries. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Not going to lie. Taking it is going to be hard. Newfish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Going guns blazing? We hold back? You'll be drawing a lot of heat, but if you think you can handle it... You heard the plan. Let's do it. Neon is for indulgence and decadence. I am both disgusted and impressed. Time is over. Downstairs, now! Security. Recognize the condescending tone anywhere. Hands off weapons. Yes! You think Neon Security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. Looks like you've done a bit of violence, a bit of murder. Word is, all of this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? As I can see. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The Disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off Sewer Rat Blue and starts wearing Neon Security Black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. And you, say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. Setting street rat against street rat is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. Good you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a... a cop. Shit. We could get on real pad. Maybe even move out of Pepside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, Neon Security seriously will let that go? I don't see why not. Do you really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? We've been struggling just to feed ourselves. Having a salary again. Hard to believe. Just... Consider where that salary comes from, and what it may be conditioned upon. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, know we'll be forever grateful. With resources and backup, the streets are gonna be safer. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut.
did not enjoy the experience. Good to see you. Thank you. Did you have any trouble en route? Good. Very good. Here's your pay, and your continued discretion would be appreciated. Was there something you needed? I hope we have what you need. If more and more people flock to the Freestar Collective, does that not just make it more like the United Colonies? Problem?
the same damn thing. Day in and day out. You've got to admit. These rangers are some hard blood. We need to be smarter, better in the way we handle the Ashta. Hey, how have you been? Staying out of trouble? Well, whatever gets you through the day, I've had more than my fill of it for this lifetime. Things here have been, well, they're better. The Isis thought a bit between me and Davis. We'll probably never be friends, but at least we're on speaking terms now. I think he finally appreciates the value of my research. Yeah, we're much better as a team, even if it is a cautiously engaged one. In fact, speaking of Davis, I have to confess, I'm a little worried about him. In analyzing the recent data, I've isolated readings suggesting that someone is making patrols far more often than in the recent past. I don't have any direct evidence, but I know it's Davis. It's gotta be. I'm worried that everything I've inadvertently put him through is kinda, I don't know, pushed him over the edge, or at least a little too close to it. No, he's not. He's out there at least four and a half times as frequently. There's something else going on. I'm better with statistics and circuits than I am with people. I've already made a mess of this situation. Do you think you could go speak to him? If nothing else, it would ease my conscience. that every time I see your face, I bet a headache's gonna follow shortly after. Mm-hmm. All broken up about it, I'm sure. So what can I do for you? I don't know whether I should be reassured that someone cares or creeped out that someone's watching me that closely. Ah, that woman, I swear. Even though we've smoothed over most of the rough spots, she still manages to strike a nerve without even trying. Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. Not sure yet. When we were out there and we found that robot, obviously that threw me for a loop. Still can't believe one of my own people would pull a stunt like that, endangering us all. But the more I thought about it, that whole episode doesn't account for some of the tracks I saw out there. Too large, too spread out. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. If there's a bigger Ashta out there, Something meaner than what we've seen so far? I have to know. I tell you what, if you and Kiona are worried, why don't you just come with me then? Either I get an extra gun in the fight, or you get to laugh at the old man and say, I told you so. I'll give you a chance to gear up if you need it. And uh, maybe grab the biggest gun you got, just in case. All right. You know, Keone shit. Showed me her data. She's a clever kid. Just She's one got a lot day. of things That's figured out. Asked for. I think we can make some real improvements in the future. She had a couple sets of data that she thought were erroneous or something. But it seems to me that it might not be. Bigger, faster, Ashta sounds like it matches up with the tracks I've seen. But, I tell you, I'm 
hoping she's right, and it's just a glitch. And, uh, no need to tell her I said that, but he wanted to go into her head. All right, here we are. Let's head this way. I remember a story from the first time I was here on Aquila. I had totally forgotten about it till recently. Every so often, we get independent types of things and think and succeed where everyone else has failed. Some of them stride off into the wilderness, certain that they're going to make more credits than anyone in history. Mining, botany stuff, or whatever. Warners just don't get through to them. Most of them don't come back. But this one time, miner from some corporation drags himself back into the city for a half day. Glad he seen a ash the big as a house out there. The older guys all say he was delirious. Me, well, I was good as anything. Just listen to me. Now, though, I'm wondering if maybe it wasn't just blood loss in the East. He really did see something. Maybe I should have come out here a long time ago. Shit, that's gotta be it. No matter what happens, you make it back to the city and tell them about this. You hear me? Not to point that thing at me. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't think we were gonna make it through that. If you hadn't been with me, no way I'd be standing right now. We were here specifically to ensure you remain standing. <laughs> you are something else, you know that? We got out of lie this one time. That's good, but this ain't gonna be the last time we have to deal with this. Now that we know these things are out here, we need to track them and keep them out of populated areas. And that plan is gonna need everybody. So, I'm gonna swallow my pride a bit here and ask you to go tell Keone what we found. Let her know that her data wasn't an error and that she needs to focus on it. Looks like I could still learn a thing or two. Thanks again for saving my ass. Davis should be more careful. The data shows the Ashta are more active. So, what happened? So, I was right? My data was accurate? I can't believe I second-guessed it. You know, I was really hitting a point where I was starting to think maybe this was all a mistake. That I stuck my nose into something I shouldn't have. Davis was so certain they had everything under control that they didn't want or need my help. But they did, didn't they? Don't worry. I am sufficiently humbled. Well, for now. I need to get to work on this immediately. But while I've been sitting around, I whipped up a little something for you. I thought it was funny. Now that I'm giving it to you, I'm hoping it's not in really poor taste. Anyway, thank you. Again.
Alrighty, that looks like a good place to stop. Make sure to like button, make sure to subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video.